Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi there. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Yes, thank you. Uh, I feel very hot. It's okay. Oh, the weather is hot. The weather is hot. Yes. Is it uh, is it raining over there or not? Uh, no, it's uh, not raining yet. Not yet. Ah. Because um, thunder. Rain. Yes. Thunder, 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 yes. Guy, mm -hmm. There are many thunders. So maybe it's going to rain. Uh, maybe, later. <laughs> maybe later, very good. So where do you uh, live? I, I hope uh, it's not affect my connection. <laughs> yes, I hope so. I hope that it, uh, it rained, but after the class, <laughs> when you got to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, and and when uh, where where do you live? I live uh, way um, uh, way Puerto de Libertad. Ah, uh, okay, was... sounds good. So, how is the weather like in Zaragoza? Most of the time, is it hot or is it fresh? Uh, uh, there are two weather, uh -huh. and the night and night is fresh. Ah, and in, during uh, the day, windy. windy. Ah, that's great. Because the coast. Uh -huh. And in the morning, in the afternoon, is is is. Uh, okay well but at least at night it's fresh <laughs> that's <yes>. something positive <laughs> all right I, in this moment i i uh, whether it's hot because in the room i close the door because the noisy Ah, <laughs> yes, I imagine that. <laughs> well, I hope that the weather doesn't affect the connection. Okay. And if it, it is going it, to rain, but after the class. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, yesterday, tonight, I exercise. Uh, I feel the exercise. Mm, that's great. But I can do it. Uh, 1.7. Okay, we can resolve it here. No problem. The 1.7. Let's yes. find it out. The, the, um, okay. okay, we are going to resolve it here in the class. No worries. All right. Meanwhile, hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. Only Carlos and Osman. Ah, and Pamela, I can see the camera on. Thank you, guys. And the rest of you, everybody, camera on, please. How are you, Osman? How do you feel? Brilliant, teacher. I'm fine. Um, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> so, so tired. So tired. Oh, but really? Happy. Yes, but happy we, because today is Friday. Yes, excellent. Any plans uh, for the weekend? Uh, excuse me? Do you have plans for the weekend? Um, for the moment, not. Um, I think tomorrow stay at home. I I I enjoy uh, to be in my house. Ah, okay, yeah. that's good. <laughs> yes. Okay, and you, Pamela, do you have plans for the weekend? No, teacher. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it, but. Maybe I will go to um, the basketball game of the Central American games. Hey, that's great. Yeah. So I, I hope I, I can go. 
<laughs> yes, do it. If you can do it, yes, why not? <laughs> Excellent. And let's see, welcome guys. Who else? Do you have any other plans for the weekend? Yes? Nope? Well, uh, I hope guys you could enjoy your weekend and I hope you can rest, okay? We are just finishing the unit, uh, I mean the week number one, so imagine time flies. And next week, imagine, it's the second week already. So we are going to start today, um, well, in this moment, Carlos is talking about the exercise that appears on the platform. We are going to try to resolve it to see what the correct answer is. Uh, let me open up. So he says that is the 1.7. So Carlos, is this the one? Yes. Carlos, yes, no. Hello. <laughs> All right. Uh, in this exercise, guys, and this happened uh, in the previous course that I gave because they had the same issue. Um, in the number two is always giving an error. It doesn't matter how uh, you answer it. It seems like the answer is always incorrect. All right, so in this scenario, guys, if you do this exercise, uh, the number two, it seems like the platform has an error. So, but if you complete the exercise and all the answers are correct, I'm going to check your score and I will give you the point, okay? So basically, this is the issue with this exercise. I don't know if anyone else did this exercise already. Yes, did you do this exercise or Teacher, not I, yet? I tried uh, uh, do the, the exercise, but mm -hmm. I have a uh, problems. I don't understand the, 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 the exercise. Okay, I will help you with this guys. Pay attention, please. Uh, if you cannot see that, is it the exercise one? Point seven. This exercise, guys, basically what you have to do is that you have to put the words in order, creating sentences using the comparative form that we studied yesterday, that is as, adjective as. So remember that in a sentence, remember the order. The first things that I need is a subject. So in this case, the first subject, is retailer. A key word is the capital, guys. If you see, this one is the capital. So, ah, okay. So maybe this is the first one. So I'm going to say retailers after a subject, what do I need in a sentence? Subject, and then I need a verb. A verb. Okay, subject, verb. verb. So in this case, retailer is my subject. I need a verb. Which of these ones is a verb? Help. Help, exactly. But look, all these phrases go together. So retailers help you produce. Now, remember that we are using the comparative as and then as. In this case, I'm going to say, look, uh, help you produce as and then much profit as wholesaler. And that's the sentence. The point here, guys, and that's why this is like some issues with the platform. In some exercises, uh, as you noticed, you need to add like a final point or period, yes? But in this case, if you add the final point, the answer will be incorrect. 
So that's why it's considered a mistake in the platform. So don't add the final period. If you don't add the period and you send the answer, look, the answer is correct. Now, important everybody, the answer, uh, be careful with the spelling because only one letter is wrong, everything will be wrong. Imagine that I remove the letter S over here and I send the answer, look, is going to be incorrect. So I recommend you please to write correctly the answer. Um, so in the end, the answer is retailers help you reduce as much profit as wholesaler. The number two, and that's what I was explaining. In the number two, this is a mistake of the platform because it's always giving you an error. I tried it in different ways, but it seems like the answer is always incorrect um, because it has to say the cheap man will be delivered. And then again, as soon as the payment is received. In this exercise, that is basically what you have to do. Just put the sentence in order. Let's start with the subject, capital letter. For example, Oops. product transportation. Then I need a verb. What is the is, verb? Is. Is. And then? Is. As expensive. As expensive. As, and then? As storage. Mm -hmm. capacity. As storage capacity. But again, guys, don't add the final period. If you add the period in the end, uh, the exercise will be incorrect. So the only one that doesn't have a correct answer is the number two. I don't know why the platform give it in that way. So if you complete the exercise, I will give you the extra point for the number two. Understood? Yes? Uh, I don't know yes. if, is it, if it, it is clear, the exercise number 1.7. Yes, teacher. Yeah, sure. Maybe, maybe yeah. repeat the five because I have mirror, but I don't know what is. Okay, no worries. In the number five, guys, again, look for the capital letter in the subject. Selling or digital. Ah, selling our digital courses. I need a verb. Is not us. Is not us. Is not us. Profitable as profitable as profitable as distribution distributing them online or through a store. Look, in this scenario is through a store, but basically, guys, we just put all of the phrase together, selling our digital courses through a store. So all of that one is the subject, selling our digital courses through a store. And then you continue with the sentence. Okay, is not as profitable as distributing them online. So all of that phrase goes together. This one and this one go together. Teacher. Uh huh. And uh, in me, uh, uh, number one is as similar uh, or, or same as saying mm -hmm. uh. Uh, all right. Uh, and it we, is always incorrect? Yes, incorrect. Okay. Did you write capital letter? Yes. Did you add a final point? Yes. That is a mistake. I mean, in this exercise, guys, don't add the final period. Okay. Because look, imagine if I put the period like this, I'm going to send the answer, 
look appears as incorrect. But if I don't add the period and I send the answer, now is correct. So don't add it. Okay. And model model three. Pasaba lo mismo. Igual lo provedo lo he probado sin punto y con punto y siempre me salió mal. Uh, yes, guys. Pero Remember no. that in these cases, these are some uh, mistakes of the platform. All right. So that's why when you have these kind of issues, I always tell my students to complete the exercise. And if it is a mistake of the platform, I will give you the points. Okay. But in this case, try to do it, please. Just remember in this exercise specifically, don't add the point, please. All right? Okay. Very good. Um, is there any other question, guys, about this exercise specifically? Nope. Okay. Very good. All right, so we are going to start everybody before sharing the presentation. I'm going to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Boris Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Okay. Um, let's see, Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Edwin Antonio. All right. Elias Neftali. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. No <laughs> All right. Eulise Torres. Eulice Torres. Okay. Um, Jose Miguel. No. Jose eh, Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Josman Atilio. I think that he's listener. Eh, Kevin Alfredo. Present. All right. Nelson Alberto. Present. Very good. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Present. All right. Eh, Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Santiago Roberto. And Wilber Alberto. Present. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Let's teacher. start, everybody. Yes. Sorry, teacher. Osman. Uh, Josman Atilio, yes, I already checked your attendance, no worries. All right. Okay, everybody, let me start sharing the presentation. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, everybody, today is June 30th. Basically, we are ending the week number one and we are ending the month, okay? So let's start. Do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Uh huh. The the con is the comparative. Comparative, yeah. Comparative. Superlative. Superlative. Mm -hmm. And during all this week, do you remember all the topics that we studied during this week? Um, adjectives. Distribution channel. Yeah. Expression of certainly. Ah, very mm. good. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, expressions of certainty and the opposite, right? Uncertainty. Oh, yeah. That's correct. Excellent, guys. Try, guys, to review the topics. Try to review the vocabulary so you don't forget it. Okay? Now, the topic that we are going to study today is this one. We are going to provide suggestions 
using the expressions of certainty, okay? And this is our class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Me. Yes, go ahead. Okay, class objective. Uh, by the end of the class, participants will be able to provide suggestions. <laughs> Sorry, the different scenarios using some expression of certainty. That is the one. Thank you. So exactly. I will give you different scenarios and you have to provide suggestions about what to do. And the idea is to use the vocabulary that we learned during this week. Okay, so I hope you remember the vocabulary, everybody. Okay. Now, yesterday we were talking about comparatives and superlatives. I hope you remember. If the adjective is short, what do I need to do? Do you remember? You need to add in the end of the word uh, er. Exactly. Look, just need to add er. Perfect. And if it is superlative, what do I need to do? Add ESD. Correct. Now, in the superlative, there is another word that I need to add. What is it? The. the. Correct. Excellent job. Now, what happens if my adjective is long? So, what do I need to do? We need add more. More. Comparative. And in the superlative? Add most. Correct. The, the must. The must. Always with the article the. Perfect. And if you remember, we have some irregular adjectives. For example, what is the comparative of good? Better. Better. I cannot say good there. Mm -mm. And what is the superlative? The best. The best. The best. The best. Excellent. Okay, we are going to have a quick practice. Okay, we are going to compare and also we are going to check some sentences in superlatives. Okay, so everybody, let's see the following pictures. Uh, let's compare. I have hamburgers versus salad. <laughs> Which one do you prefer? Which one do you like? Hamburgers? Salad, always. Ah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's compare them. Give me adjectives to compare hamburger versus salad. 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 Is, Sorry. <laughs> salad is healthier than hamburger. Very good. Healthier. I like that one. What else? Uh huh. Nelson, you were saying something? Yeah. In this case, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another sentence? Me? Uh, I think. Go ahead. I... Salad, uh, sometimes salad is more expensive than hamburger. Yes, that's true. <laughs> In some yeah. restaurants, salad is more expensive than hamburgers. That's true. What else? The hamburgers cost than salad. Can you repeat again? Hamburgers? Hamburger. Is coaster than the salad. Mm. Okay, look at this one. The words that are here are not adjectives. Okay, so um, ignore these words. You don't have to use them. Okay, uh, ignore them. These words are not adjectives. So um, in this case, if I want to say the cost, which one is expensive this is the adjective expensive or cheap so what will be the sentence i want to use expensive or cheap 
Let's create the sentence. Uh, maybe mm, hamburger or expensive than salad. salad. Okay, hamburger is ex more expensive than a salad. Another sentence, guys? No more sentences? Talking about delicious, what do you think? Hamburger is more delicious. <laughs> 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 okay, very good. And if I talk about, um, well, well, with those sentences is enough. Let's switch to other one. Let's talk about dogs versus cats. Which one do you prefer? The, the dog. Uh huh. Is bigger than cat. Very good. The dog is bigger than the cat. Then, then. Mm -hmm. Another sentence, guys. What do you think? Um, the dog is more beautiful than cat. <laughs> okay, the dog is more beautiful. All right. The dog is as brave as the cat. Ah, I like that one. Equality, I like it. Very good. What else? Teacher, the, the dog is more dirty than, than cat. <laughs> okay, you think? Oh, yes, yes because the cat, see, the cat generally are very clean, cleaner. Actually, they they clean their cells. That's true. Yeah. Now, pay attention with that adjective because in this case, I'm going to write it. The adjective that he mentioned is dirty. dirty. So dirty. can I say more dirty, dirty or more dirty. dirtier? More dirty. Dirtier. Second one. Actually, it's dirtier. So we can say dogs are dirtier then cats. 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 This is the same example, guys, as when we have happy. Can I say more happy? Uh, no, ha happier. No, right? We say hey, happier. 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 So dirty is the same example as happier. Okay? Very good. Um, any other sentence? Dogs are angrier than cats. Dogs are angrier than cats. Okay, sounds good. So you see, we are just comparing. Okay? Now let's move on to the superlative options. Remember that when we say superlative, guys, be careful with the microphones because I'm listening to a lot of backgrounds. Remember, participate, but then turn it off. Now, superlative, I'm not comparing. Remember that in the superlatives, what I need to do is to pick one that is the top. I have four drinks over here. Which one do you prefer? Uh -huh. The juice. The Budweiser, I mean, the beer, the juice. Uh huh. And you guys? For me, I prefer. Milk. Milk, very Milk. healthy, okay. Milk makes coffee. Milk with coffee, okay. Now, let's create superlative sentences. Can you give me examples? Orange juice is the best drink. Okay, sounds good. Orange juice is the best drink. I'm not comparing, all right? So I don't need to say the word then. Very good. Another sentence. Milk is the healthiest uh, drink. Ah, very good. Milk is the healthiest drink. Sounds good. What else? 
Talking about expensive. Coca Cola is the uh -huh. worst. Is the worst drink. Ah, uh -huh, very good. What else? If I want to use the adjective expensive or cheap or delicious, what do you think? Maybe a uh, Budweiser is the most expensive beer. Ah, very good. That's a good example. Uh huh. Another sentence. Which one do you think is cheap? Do you know what cheap is? The opposite for expensive. Barato. Uh -huh. So can you give me a sentence using cheap? Cheaper. What would be the one? The Coca Cola is cheaper than beers. Hmm. Okay, that sentence is good in the comparative, but in this case, we are talking about superlative. So, using the same example, what would be the superlative? Coca Cola is. A cheaper drink. The cheapest drink. The cheapest, cheapest drink. drink. Exactly. That's the one. Very good. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, it's okay. I say the, the Coca Cola is sweeter than the rest drink. It's what? The Coca Cola is sweeter. Okay. It's sweeter Sweetest. than the rest drink. In that case, if you are comparing, yes, you can say that Coca Cola is sweeter than the other drinks. In that case, you are comparing than the other drinks. If it is superlative, you have to say Coca Cola is the sweetest drink. That is the difference. Okay. I'm going to write the sentence. Look at this. A Coca-Cola is sweeter than the other drinks. This one, if you see, is comparative. I'm comparing Coca-Cola with other drinks. But in the superlative, I just have to say Coca-Cola is the sweetest drink like this. I'm not comparing in that scenario, so it's superlative. Could you see the difference? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Any questions about it? No? No question. Uh, sure. I, I copy the the the, the Oh, but you cannot see it very well over here. Can you see it or not? No. No. Okay, I'm going to write it in the whiteboard because I cannot switch it here. Give me a second. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, perfect. If you want to copy the example, everyone, do it. No problem. You ready? Let me know when you finish. Ready. Finish? Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a problem with my laptop. Uh, I'm going in the cell phone right now. Okay, perfect. Do it, no problem. Okay, did you finish? Did you copy it? Yes? 
Now, let's see another example. Imagine, guys, that you will go on vacation. Okay, can you see the pictures? Yes? Yes, yes. Okay, where do you want to go? Uh, do you prefer to go to the mountain, uh, to the beach, to the city, or do you prefer to go to the forest? What do you think? I would rather the mountain. Mountain, okay. I Who else? I would rather uh, forest. Forest? Mm -hmm. I prefer forest too. Forest, okay. Yes, forest. <laughs> All right. So why? Give me superlative sentences. Go ahead. The forest is more, the forest is easier than city. Is easier? Easier, is easier than city. Mm, okay. What else? You can give me comparative or superlative, the ones that you prefer. Um, the forest is uh, colder than city. Mm, okay, that's a good reason. How about the, you guys? The forest is the most cheapest place. All right, that's a good one, but the most cheapest? And not cheapest. Ah, uh, that is the one. So again, can you repeat the sentence? Uh, the forest is cheapest uh, place. Very good. The forest is, don't forget the article, the, the cheapest. cheapest. Very good. Sure. Uh, another sentence. Uh -huh. for, for me, the forest is more beautiful than city. Okay, pretty good. How about the mountains or the beach? Uh -huh. I never have been in the mountains, but, uh, but I think it would be the, the most beautiful place. Ah, that's a good sentence. Very good. Any other option? Maybe the beach is further uh, than forest. Mm, very good. Excellent. So this is the way, everybody, that we can use comparative and superlatives. Is it clear? Yes? It's clear. Perfect. Now, yesterday, we also studied a way to use comparatives, but in this scenario is when they are the same. Okay, and for this kind of a structure, we use as plus the adjective plus as. Do I need changes in the adjective? What no, do you think? We don't need. No, we don't need. Basically, we are just using the adjective exactly as it is and yesterday we see some uh, we saw some examples dave is as tall as then that means that they are the same okay let's have some practice uh, yesterday in the manuals we saw some exercises some examples what happens if i want to say it in negative what is the only things that i need to add not or not exactly look if i want to say it in negative i just need to add not okay for example my distributors are not as fast as the ones or the ones you're partnered with let's have some exercises using as plus adjective plus as. Um, imagine guys that I want to go to eat tomorrow for lunch. Mm, can you compare Pizza Hut and Papa John's? But tell me that they are equal or in negative. Go ahead. Papa John's is not, is not, uh, 
is not the same flavor, has not the same flavor that pizza hut. Mm, okay. In this scenario, flavor is not an adjective. So instead of flavor, maybe we can say delicious. So what could be the sentence here? Pizza hut. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's not as delicious as Papa John's. That's correct. Very good. It's not as delicious as Papa John's. Very good example. What else? Uh huh. Any other idea? Talking about expensive. What do you think? Are they the same? Papa John Papa. is not as famous as Pizza Hut. Very good. Papa John's is not as famous as Pizza, Pizza, Hut. Pizza Hut. Okay. What else? Any other sentence? Remember, we can use affirmative or negative. If you see the prices, I can see $7.95 and $7.99. Are they the same? Uh, pizza, pizza Hut is not, uh, it's not cheaper as Papa John. Mm, okay. Can I say it's not, not cheaper, cheaper as? Papa John. Okay. Remember, what is the characteristic if I use as? Remember, as, as adjective, and then as. as. And do I need changes in the adjective? Cheaper. No, cheaper. No, no. Ah, I have to say it it's cheap. like this. Cheap. It's not as cheap as. That is cheap. the characteristic when we are using as and then as. Remember, the adjective, mm -mm, they don't need changes. Understood? Is it clear, everyone? Yes. Any questions so far? With the comparatives? Yes? No? No. Okay, let's have one more practice. Let's compare two things, but let's pretend that they, I mean, we need to find some similarities. For example, I have coffee and I have tea. Can you tell me sentences using us? plus adjective plus as, you can use affirmative or negative. Go ahead. Mm, coffee is as hot as tea. Ah, very good. What else? Coffee is as... Uh, Oh, sometimes it's as, oh, sorry, it's as delicious as tea. Very good. Coffee is as delicious as tea. Sounds good. What else? What else? Try to give me sentences in negative too. What can we say? Teacher, maybe tea is not as I don't know if that adjective is correct, as strong as coffee. Yes, it's good. So tea is not as strong as coffee. Perfect. So if you see, they are not the same in everything, right? That's why we can use negative things. Okay, um, give me a number, please. One, two, um, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. Mm -hmm. 
One. One. Okay, we have two platforms here. Tell me where or which characteristics they are simile, uh, or similars, and you can use negative two. YouTube or Netflix? What can you tell me about them? You can use adjectives like popular, expensive, interesting. Netflix, Netflix uh -huh. is Netflix as popular as YouTube. Okay, Netflix is as popular as YouTube. Hmm, sounds good. What else? What else can we say about those platforms? Give me ideas, everyone. Let's wake up. Let's wake up. Give me ideas. I, YouTube, I don't know. YouTube. Uh huh. Is as cheap as Netflix. As Netflix? Yes. Mm, okay. So YouTube is as cheap as Netflix. Sounds good. So guys, they are not the same in some areas, but we can find similarities. And if you find that they are equal in a certain way, we use as plus the adjective plus as. Please just don't forget, if we are using this structure, remember that the adjective is always in the basic form. We don't add ER, we cannot add more. Okay? Is that clear, everybody? Any questions so far about this topic? No, teacher. No? Okay, now we already practiced grammar. Now we are going to practice listening. Okay? Uh, do you like listening exercises or do you feel that they are difficult? Uh-huh. I like, but are difficult. Okay, well, we are going to practice. I'm going to play an audio, everybody. You have to listen to the audio and choose the correct adjective to complete the sentence. For example, in the number one, it says, she says the new job is not as, so you have to identify what would be the best adjective. It's not as fun as easy or stressful as his last job. Okay, so you decide. Understood? So guys, uh, you can answer in your notebooks and then we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Um, to avoid interferences, I will need you guys to keep your microphones off, okay? So everybody, microphones off, please to avoid interferences. Pay attention. I'm going to play the audio. Here we go. Conversation one. How is your new job? Okay, but it is not as fun as my last job. Oh really, why? Well, there are not as many social events and it is not as chill as my last job. Oh no, that's too bad. What about pay and benefits? I earn about as much as before, but I had better benefits. Well, so it's not all bad. Conversation two. Uh, repeat this. I hear you got a new house. I did. We just moved in last week. Um, listen, guys, listen the full audio. And later, if you need repetition, I'm going to play the full audio again. All right? But let's wait that the audio finished. All right? Uh, let's continue, please.
I hear you got a new house. I did. We just moved in last week. How is it? Good. It is not as big as my last place, but it is cheaper. How is the neighborhood? It is not as convenient as my last place, but I like it. Conversation 3 Can you pick up my friend at the airport? I have to work tonight. Sure, I can do that. What does he look like? Well, he's about as tall as me, and he has blonde hair. It's the same color as mine. Wow, he sounds like your twin. No, I'm not nearly as handsome as he is. You'll see. I'll be the judge of that. Conversation 4 How's the new cafe? Not good. It's not as good as the last one. How are the prices? About the same, but the coffee is not as good as before. Oh no! I'm bummed to hear that. There is one good thing, though. Oh yeah? What's that? Well, because the quality has dropped off, it's not nearly as crowded as before, so it's easy to find a seat. Well, at least that's good. All right. Could you listen to the audio, everybody? Yes? Please. Yeah. Do you have all the answers or do you want to listen it again? Again, please. Again? Okay. <laughs> okay. Again, please. again, teacher. Perfect. I'm going to play it again. Microphones off, please, everybody. Okay, let's listen it again. Here we go. Conversation one. How is your new job? Okay, but it is not as fun as my last job. Oh really? Why? Well, there are not as many social events and it is not as chill as my last job. Oh no, that's too bad. What about pay and benefits? I earn about as much as before, but I had better benefits. Well, so it's not all bad. Conversation 2. I hear you got a new house. I did. We just moved in last week. How is it? Good. It is not as big as my last place, but it is cheaper. How is the neighborhood? It is not as convenient as my last place, but I like it. Conversation 3. Can you pick up my friend at the airport? I have to work tonight. Sure, I can do that. What does he look like? Well, he's about as tall as me, and he has blonde hair. It's the same color as mine. Wow, he sounds like your twin. No, I'm not nearly as handsome as he is. You'll see. I'll be the judge of that. Conversation 4. How's the new cafe? Not good. It's not as good as the last one. How are the prices? About the same, but the coffee is not as good as before. Oh no! I'm bummed to hear that. There is one good thing, though. Oh yeah? What's that? Well, because the quality has dropped off, it's not nearly as crowded as before, so it's easy to find a seat. Well, at least that's good. All right. So, everybody, do you have the answers? Yes? An idea. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, let's try it. Um, imagine... So this is like a practice, like an exam. So let's see how many correct answers you have. So in the number one, what was the correct adjective to complete that sentence? She says the new yeah. job is not as strong. Fun. 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 <laughs> okay, some of you say fun, some of you say stressful. Final answer? Fun. 
And the correct one is fun. Yes. If you chose fun, that answer is correct. Very good job. Okay, in the number two, uh, she says her new place is not as convenient. 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 A very good job. That's the correct one. Excellent. Okay, in the number three, volunteer for reading, please. The number Me three. Teacher. Yes. Me teacher. Mm -hmm. What is? He say he is not a, as handsome as his friend. Mm, okay. He said handsome. Is that handsome. correct, everybody? Tall. 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 It's mm. handsome. Handsome tall. or tall? Tall, teacher. Tall. Tall. Actually, the correct answer is. Handsome, okay. yes. So if you chose handsome, yes, that's the correct one. Um, and the last one, a volunteer for reading, please, number four. New cafe is not as crowded as the classic. Mm, okay, he said crowded. What do you think, everybody? Is that correct? Crowded. Yes, it's correct. Yes. Yes, that's correct. Okay, everybody, how many correct answers did you have? Two. I, three, three, two. Three, three, two. Three correct answer. Okay. Four. 3.5. <laughs> 3.5, okay. Uh -huh. What is the meaning crowded? Oh, crowded is when there are a lot of people okay that is the meaning of crowded for example if you go to um if you go to a restaurant exactly at 12 exactly at lunch time the restaurant is empty or it is crowded thank you mm -hmm. it's crowded so that is the meaning for that okay so Easy or difficult, the audio? What do you think? Difficult. 50-50. 50-50, difficult. Okay. So um, the idea, everybody, is that here in the class, we can practice, um, well, everything, right? All the skills, listening, speaking, writing, reading, everything. And if you feel that, for you, listening is difficult. I mean, don't get frustrated. That means that we need to practice more listening, okay? So don't get frustrated. We are going to improve. Don't worry. Now, uh, do you have any questions so far? Nope. Okay, let's move on. We are going to have an exercise over here about as adjective as we are going to do it in teams you have to choose a number read the sentence and give me the correct answer um because in oh my gosh i cannot do it girls versus boys because i only have two girls and the rest of boys so what do you think guys girls versus boys or do i divide the class hmm? Divide the class. Divide the class. All right. Uh, let me divide the class. Give me a second. Um, okay, listen, I'm going to send a picture on WhatsApp's group and you will see the division. Okay, the ones that are with the yellow color, you will be team one. Okay. Uh, and the ones that are not in yellow, so you will be team two, okay? I'm sending the picture on WhatsApp's group. Can you see the picture? Yes? If you are in yellow, you are team one. If you are not in yellow, you are team two. Let's start. Uh, team one. Give me a number, please. Three. Three, okay. 
I have this sentence and I want to use importance. Remember, we need to say as, as. What will be the sentence here? Team one, complete the sentence. Makeup is as important as accessories for many girls. Okay, are you sure? Yes. Yes. It's as important as, <laughs> great job. Team number one to get the points. Team number two, give me a number please. Six. Okay. The adjective is difficult. Go ahead. A math test is as difficult as a physics physics test. Mm, okay, do you agree everybody? Team yes, two? Teacher. Yes. yes teacher. Correct, easy, very good job. Team one, give me a number. Two. Okay. What do you think? Read the sentence. What is the adjective that we need to use? Read the sentence, read the sentence. Uh-huh, team one. The bracelet. The bracelet and the ring are equality expensive. Mm -hmm. the, the bracelet is as expensive R. as the R, R, R. R. Okay, again, the bracelets are as expensive as the ring. Okay, are you sure? I believe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Team one, yes? Yes. And yes, that's correct. Look, the first sentences, I mean, the first sentence is giving you the idea, right? That's correct. Okay, team two, give me a number, please. Nine. I'm sorry? Five. Nine. Oh, nine. Okay, go ahead. Look at this. This one is in negative. Team two. Studying is not as easy as sleeping. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, studying is not as easy as sleeping. If you see in this case, they are just using contractions, but in the end is the same, perfect. Okay, look at this one. Some sentences or some questions have more points than others, okay? So for example, in this case, this question was 25 points um, and some other is only 15 points, okay? So this is by lucky, the ones that you chose. Um, team one, give me a number, please. One. Number one? Yes. Go ahead. This question is for 25 points, so be careful. A house, a house is more expensive than a, an apartment. Mm. I'm not, remember that this exercise is not for comparatives, it's for equality, equally delete more a house is as expensive as an apartment okay are you sure yes yes are you sure yes yes, yes. Pay attention again in this moment we are just using as adjective as no comparative of superlative and no superlative adjectives. So, good job, that's the correct one. Team two, give me a number. 10. Number four, when? 10. 10, okay. Negative for 25 points. Uh, 
pelo pai, é pelo pai, it not, it not as, it not as, I say, pelo pai, is not, delicious, as, as delicious, not as delicious as, as delicious. yeah, chocolate. as ice cream with chocolate. Mm, okay, repeat the sentence one more time, please. Apple oh. pie. Oh, continue. Go oh, ahead. Go ahead. Okay, apple pie is uh -huh. not as delicious as ice cream with chocolate. Okay, are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? And yes, very good. Don't forget, guys, that we need twice as us. Okay, excellent. Okay, team one, give me a number, please. Five. Five, okay. Okay, this question is only 15 points, but try. What do you think? What will be the answer? Apples are. Uh huh. Apples are. Team one, help him. Delicious uh, as uh, orange. Okay. Apples are as delicious as orange. orange. Pronunciation orange. 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 Is in plural. Orange. Orange. Oranges. Okay. Oranges. Oranges. If it is in plural, we say oranges. Orange. Orange. And look. That's correct. So apples are as delicious as oranges. Excellent job. Uh, team number two. Give me a number. Eight. 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 Okay. This question is also only 15 points. Go ahead. These two trolls are equally cute. The blue troll is as cute as the pink troll. Okay, do you agree, everybody? Yes, yeah, I agree. agree. That is the one. Very good job. Okay, team number one. This is the last one for you. Okay, four seven. or seven? Seven? Seven. Seven. Okay, this is for 25 points. It's negative. A absence fiction movie is not as, fun as, as a comedy. As fun as a comedy. Hmm. Okay, Lorena, science, can, you re can you repeat it again? A science fiction movie is not as fun as a comedy. Okay, are you sure? Yes. That is the one, very good, yeah. excellent. Okay, team number two, this is the last one for you. If you answer correctly this one, maybe you can win. Go ahead. Team two. Sports aren't equally exciting. Tennis is not as exciting as soccer. Okay. Do you agree, everyone? Team number two, do you agree? Yes? Yes. Yes, look, tennis is not as exciting as soccer. All right. <laughs> well, guys, look at this. Tie. It's a tie. <laughs> yeah, so congratulations, both of you. Very good job. Excellent. So if you see, it's pretty easy to use the comparative of equally. Just remember, everyone, 
just use the verb, I mean, in this case, the adjective in the basic form. Indeed. We don't need to say cheaper or more. No, it's just as the adjective and then as. I, I say I say it's correct the the thing thing one is is uh -huh. winner than thing two. Hmm. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. Uh, well, I consider that you are the same, guys. No worries. But okay. we can have a revenge. Later, we are going to have a revenge. All right. Now, let's continue, everyone. Uh, that was the topic about the comparatives. Okay, so now you can compare in superiority, you can compare objects when they are equal. And now also you can use the superlative form. Is there Excuse any question? Me. Yes. Give me teacher. I, I, I got to the, the bathroom. Okay, good. No worries. You can go. All right. Any questions, everybody, about that topic, the comparatives? No? No, teacher. Excellent. Okay, now we are going to talk about some different we are going to give suggestions about or using the expressions of certainty do you remember the expressions of certainty yes or not absolutely ah of excellent <laughs> ah, very good okay uh, imagine if i ask you a question and i say are you sure how can you answer? Yes, I am sure. Mm -hmm, very good. What else? I'm 100% sure about it. Very good. Uh huh. What else, everybody? I'm absolutely sure. Very good. Very good. Do you remember any other one? I'm sure about it. <laughs> ah, look. If I ask you guys, are you sure? Yes, I am. Or yes, I'm certain. I'm 100% certain. So imagine if I need a suggestion, like, hey guys, I don't know what to do. Um, um, I want to travel to another country. Should I go to China? What do you think? If it is a good idea, what would you say? Should I go to China for vacations? I'm not sure about that. Very good. If you don't know, what expressions can we say? I don't think, I don't... Uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What else? Give me expressions. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh huh. What I else? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Mm hmm. I'm not really sure about. Very good. Exactly. So if you see, when you don't feel sure, or when you don't feel a hundred percent certain, you can say, mm, "I'm not sure about it." Or, mm, I don't know for sure. I don't know yet. All right. Imagine if I say, guys, um, should I work? What do you think? Should I work? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Do I need to have a job? What would you say? I have no doubt about it. <laughs> Very good. I have no doubt about it. Now, imagine that you have an exam tomorrow. What do you think? Hey, guys, I have a very important exam tomorrow. Do I need to study? What do you think? 
Mm -hmm. I'm a hundred percent certain. Very good. Yeah. So if you see, we can provide suggestions using these expressions. And that is exactly what we are going to do right now. Here, I have some scenarios and you have to provide suggestions to your classmates. For example, imagine if I say, guys, I was thinking about emigrate to the United States. Do you think it's a good idea? Answer the question using the expressions. You can use certainty or uncertainty expression. So how will you answer the number one? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that. Mm, okay, I'm not sure about that. Now you have to tell me why, why? Mm -hmm. I prefer Canada. Ah, uh -huh, okay, that's a good one. So you can say, mm, I'm not sure about that. I think that Canada is a better, is a better option. Sounds good. What do you think everybody? Any other answer? What do you think? In this scenario, guys, we are providing suggestions. I don't think so. I love El Salvador. Ah, very good. Excellent. So you see, I wanted to provide me suggestions, but always I wanted to give me the reason. Always explain why. And don't forget, guys, that you need to use the expressions of certainty. Is it clear the activity that we are going to do right now? Yes? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp's group, but if you want to take a screenshot, also, guys, you can do it. So take a screenshot, please. We are going to discuss these questions in groups. So I want you to pretend that your classmate is asking you for suggestions. So try to give a good suggestion, please. All right. Now, uh, let me open up the breakup rooms. Please, everybody, the mo this is the moment for speaking. So I want to everybody enter to the breakup rooms, practice with your classmates. And as I always said, please try to avoid Spanish. If you don't know how to say a word, ask your classmates. So maybe they can help you with that, okay? Very good, everybody. Let's see. I know that there are some people that I think that they are listeners. So I just want to confirm. Um, Hosman, will you participate? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very good. That's the attitude. Um, okay, everybody, let's go to practice. Here we go. What's up? Uh, can you share the screen or what? Uh, I'm not sure about it. <laughs> Why <laughs> so lazy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, brother. Uh, it's a joke. Okay, I will share my screen. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Yeah. As an answer, using the certainty expressions. Certainty, okay. Certainty. Okay. Okay. I was thinking about emigrate to USA. Do you think it's a good idea? Um, I'm 100% certain. Come oh, on. Oh, really? Why? Yeah. 
but uh, you you want to immigrate to USA as a uh, legal. Legal, yes. Oh, okay. It's a good idea, but uh, illegal. It's correct. I don't know. Legal or Ill illegal? Legal. No sé si, I don't know. It's correct. It is. Yeah. Illegal. 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 Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, but uh, immigrate to USA illegal is a bad uh, idea. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's hard. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think so, because uh, today there are uh, uh, other countries uh, with uh, excellent um, jobs and life. For example, uh, how do you say Países Bajos? Netherlands? Netherlands, yes. For the ladies. Um, <laughs> no, only that. <laughs> For the boys. <laughs> well, uh, I don't like your your uh, uh, gustos. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Your preference. Your preference. Yeah. I respect your preference, but uh, not is my case. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Salvador is here, so you can ask him to. Hi, Salvador. Hello. Hello. Uh, I, I am not certain, but I think I have a baby. What do you think? Salvador. I have a, a, a son. Yeah. Is a good idea? For me, no. Really? Why? Only <laughs> that my family buy with me. Yes. Me. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, is the question is the question number two, Salvador? Ah, um, okay, yeah, imagine that Rafael is considered to have a baby. So what do you think? Is that a good idea? Thank you. I um I don't understand the question. Ah, okay. Imagine that in this moment, Rafael, he wants a baby, okay? But yeah. he's not sure what recommendation will you give? Do you think that it's a good idea to have a baby or is not a good idea? Mm -hmm. You got it? Uh, have yes? A baby is a, a good idea. Why? Because our character, como character, character is formado, forjado, form, form by the sun. Okay. We, we can learn we can learn many qualities mm. as patient love okay by by then that's a good reason i like that now remember the idea is to use the expressions too so you can say uh, okay, Rafael, I'm certain that is a good idea because this and this and this. Okay? How about you, Nelson? 
<laughs> what would you tell him? What suggestions will you provide? For the second question. Mm -hmm. Surprise me. Mm -hmm. well, okay, okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure about it because um, the planet uh, um, already can uh, with us. I don't know if it's correct the the sentence, but Sounds good. It's, it's the truth. <laughs> yes. Okay. The planet needs to kill all of. <laughs> all of the people uh, yeah but to to burn again hmm. but you, do you know the the most people in the planet uh are older now what sorry no lo puedo estructurar bien. The majority people, the elders, yeah. Okay, planet. the correct is most, most, most. of the people. Most like, of, of the people. Yes, la mayoría de las personas, so most of the people. The people okay. are older. Uh -huh. In this moment, but it's not. It's not enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's switch the scenario. Rafael, imagine that Nelson is consider. I mean, he is considering to have a baby. What would you tell him? Tell me the same, please. <laughs> uh, I I think is is a good idea. I'm I'm hundred certain that is a good idea. Uh, if you don't have a baby or or son or daughter right now, we have a dog. It's my baby. <laughs> That's not um. It's interesting because uh, the hell the other person in my in we we K uh, is different, right? Other person is the opportunity the staff uh, the person in we case no, it's opportunity and really illegal. Uh, uh, the political the the government and register Eva etc. Um, a little participation in the star and and about the time increment the participation ingress and it's very interesting a little because um, I will I will it's true that you say um, not all the people have access to a credit and it's difficult to start a yeah. business without money. If, if you can uh, start a business, what do you want to make? Mm, nice question. Mm, maybe... Um, A store of clothes or my my life and, and your and your life my daughter is a is a very exper, experience Boris uh, I know yeah you don't think about you you think about her right yes Yes, I heard. Okay. Uh, 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 I I will like the the other children. 
Okay. Uh, you uh, want uh, one? Uh, Do uh, you uh, like another? My my my, my 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 wife is is not sh no not sure uh, not sure yes. not sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I would like I, I would like uh, I would like uh, I have another son. I would like uh, a daughter because uh, my uh, children are. Boys, but two I boys. say two boys, but I would like uh, to get uh, another. But uh, in this moment, uh, maybe I, not. I, 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 <laughs> yes, because because I I, I, I am tired. Yes, <laughs> if, if, if I is if I was if I no if I am more younger, yes, uh, I would like to have uh, another. Another song, but right now I'm not. Uh, I I I I I want because okay. uh, I I am old. Uh, I, I am tired. Tired too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have 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 kids. It, like we said, it's a, a a lot of responsibility, a lot of yes. energy, and all the, and all that. <laughs> the life, the life is hard. But, is difficult. Is is a a beautiful e experience. Yes, for sure, for sure. I like, I uh, I like the, uh, I would like the uh, adult children. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. Uh, uh, many mean. Uh, there, there is many children. Uh, the, que lo, uh, sorry, uh, hay muchos niños que lo dejan. Uh, I, no, I like the the book. There, there, uh, there, there are many children without without parents. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, people. Uh, let's let's continue. Let's continue. Number four. I don't know. Number three. I don't know yet. A three. Three, three, three. Yes. three. I am considering going for vacation to Cuba. Do you think it's a good idea? Yes. Yes, I'm a hundred percent. Me too. Sure. Me too. I I I would like to go to Cuba. Yes. So if you if you have the opportunity, you should go. Yes. Uh, I I have. I have uh, seen some photos and videos uh, of people and friends that uh, have go have go to to Cuba, and it's a beautiful place. Oh yes, yes. What about you, Alexander? Yes, I I I would like the the visit Cuba. Is uh, the is. Uh, the country have uh, many place beautiful beautiful place okay yes okay uh, number four and now i want to uh, i want to get the uh, that go in, in my case uh, uh, we are we are we have family in georgia say okay uh, in the airport the americans uh, speak this, uh, english english understand um, difficult yes. <laughs> no it, it, it is some difficult you're yeah. right yeah, in the future Possibility. I don't know. Immigration. Okay. So we have plans, but we don't know what plans we have. Okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room.
All right, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. How was the practice? Could you answer all the questions? Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Easy or yeah. difficult? Easier. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Very good. All right. Did your classmate use certainty or uncertainty expressions? I'm absolutely sure. All the time. Uh, okay, okay. Did your classmate give good suggestions? <laughs> what do you think? Yes? yes Sometimes? <laughs> More or less. <laughs> More or less? Okay. Did your classmates speak in Spanish? No, never. So. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, are come you on. sure? What is that? Only Spanish. Only Spanish. <laughs> Only English. Only I cannot English. understand Spanish. I heard, I heard someone, listen, someone says <laughs> only Spanish. Really? No, <laughs> only, only, only English. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, look. I really like guys that you are talking a lot. I liked it. I was listening to some groups that you were giving a lot of details and that's great because remember that is what I need, okay? When you go to the breakout rooms, I want you to feel totally free to talk, okay? As long as you do it in English, of course. Now, um, little details that we need to consider when we are speaking. These are some of the details that I was listening to in some different groups. For example, children's. Children. Is that correct? No, Ooh. teacher, because the N there is not necessary. necessary. Ah, very children good. Is a plural. Remember it's that the word children is already in plural, so I don't need the letter S. Okay, so children's, mm -mm, that's incorrect. The correct one is children. Yeah. Okay, if I am more younger. More is not necessary in this sentence. It is only? If I am, if I am younger. That's the one, I excellent. Um, I would like have. I would like to have. To That's have. the one. Yeah. Remember that here we the have two verbs. Two. Exactly. We need to separate yeah. them. Okay. I would like visit. To visit. To visit. The same. To visit. To visit. Um, many places. 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 Ah, many places. Places. Because in this case, we are talking in plural. Place. Plural. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now it's my turn to interview you. Let me pick someone. Uh, hello, Wilbur. Are you there? Ah, that's why you have the camera off. <laughs> okay, but can you yes. talk? Okay. Okay, Wilbur, um, I want you to give me recommendations, okay? Suggestions. Um, I'm not certain, okay, but I was thinking that maybe it's a good idea to have a baby. What do you think? Well, I'm not sure you are younger too. So you maybe have you maybe have uh, some plans and get a goal or goal. So uh, my suggestion is uh, get your goals first and after that. You may get you may get your all your baby you want. <laughs> all the babies I want, oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. If you paid attention, did he use expressions <clears throat> of certainty? Yes or no? Yes. Did uh, he explain the reason? Excuse me, teacher. Yes, sure. continue. No worries, continue. Yes, so very good job. That's what I need. Okay, let me ask to someone else, Osman. Hello, Osman. Hello, teacher. I am here. Okay, okay Osman. Um, I'm considering going for vacation to Cuba. So, do you think is that a good idea? 
teacher. I think if you have money, it's a good idea. Are you uh, sure? Sure, yes, it's a good idea. It's a beautiful place. It's a, good, uh, a beautiful country. I recommend you, if you can go there, it's a good idea. Mm, okay. Did Osman use certainty expressions? Uh, I'm sure about it. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. So uh, let's see, Rafael, how about you? Should I go to Cuba? What do you think? Um, absolutely sure. Yeah, Why? it's a, it's a, a good experience to know how is the people life mm. in other countries. Uh, it's interesting. Okay, sounds good. Okay, let me ask to ta -ta -ta, Lorena. Lorena, I don't know yet, but I want to start my own business. What do you think? Um, I'm not really sure about it, but I think that maybe it's a good idea because you can uh, planify your ideas and make it and generate profit profit for you hmm okay sounds good how can i say planificar planificate uh, planning. planning you can say just plan okay plan you can okay. plan okay or you can program but plan is is the correct one okay okay Perfect. Pretty good, excellent. And the last one, uh, Lorena, can you help me pick one of your classmates, please? Mm, Elias. Okay, <laughs> Elias, uh, I was thinking to emigrate to United States. Is that a good idea? And I'm not talking about the legal way. <laughs> I... I don't think I I don't think so. I, I'm not sure it's a good idea because um, the family is first uh, and is is a different country. We we both. How do you say nacer? I forget it. Born or born. was born? born? We born in here and all our family is here. We we need to that love. I think so. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Excellent. So you see, guys, right now you are providing suggestions using certainty or uncertainty expressions. Is it easy or difficult? What do you think? It's a, it's a teacher. Is it? Very easy. good. It's easy if you memorize the expressions. But if you don't memorize the vocabulary, of course, you will feel that it's difficult. So please, everybody, I know it's hard, but every single day, try to review a little bit the vocabulary, okay? so you can memorize it and when you're speaking try to use the vocabulary okay any questions about the certainty or uncertainty expressions questions no no for me no excellent okay now we are going to learn a little bit more vocabulary okay and we are going to check some adjectives that are very useful when we are speaking but before that i'm going to check attendance again so when you listen to your names guys say present um let's start with anna lorena present teacher. excellent boris alexander present teacher okay carlos alberto Carlos Alberto is not here. Okay. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Antonio. Edwin. 
It's not here. Okay. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Eulise Torres. Okay, very good. Uh, Jose Miguel. Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Josman Atilio. Present teacher. Okay. Kevin Alfredo. Kevin. Okay. Nelson Alberto. Here. Okay. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. All right. Um, let's see. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander. Present. Okay. Santiago Roberto. And Wilber Alberto. Present. Excellent, very good. Okay, now let's see guys, some useful adjectives. We are going to see extremely good or extremely bad adjectives. Um, we are very, I mean, it's very common to describe adjectives like beautiful, uh, good, bad, Okay, most of the time we use very basic adjectives, but we are not basic anymore. We are intermediate. So it's necessary to increase our vocabulary. So I have here a list of adjectives. I want you to tell me guys, which of these adjectives are or have a good meaning and which of these ones are bad? What do you think? Awesome is extremely good. Wonderful. Okay. Awesome is positive, wonderful. wonderful. Brilliant. Brilliant, okay. Uh, appealing. Appealing? Appealing. Okay, what is the meaning of appealing? Do you know uh. this, guys? No, I'm not sure about it. Aha, uh -huh, but you are using the certainty phrases. I like sure. that. <laughs> okay. Pessimo, pessimo, yes, actually, a paling mm, is not positive. This one is okay. a little bit okay. negative. And the meaning the meaning of a paling, guys, is basically a synonym of terrible. Okay, so appealing and terrible, they are the same. So for example, I can say, I the traffic is appealing. Okay, or I the traffic is terrible. Horrendous. Exactly, how about horrendous? Horrendous is positive or negative? Negative. negative. Totally. Okay. Dreadful. Yes. Also. Terrific is positive too. Ah, very good. Terrific, positive or negative? Actually, positive. it is positive. positive. And this is, uh, some people got confused with this one. I, I, they say terrific. I mean, terrible is negative, but terrific is positive. Yes. So, for example, I can say, hey, guys, how are you today? Oh, teacher, today I feel good. Instead of saying good, I can say, teacher, today I feel terrific. So terrific is something positive. It's, to, it's, it's similar like um, excellent. I feel wonderful. So basically, these are like synonyms. Okay. And the last one, we have dreadful. What is that? Dreadful is positive or negative? Negative. Negative. And what is I it I don't meaning? know this word. Okay. Any idea, guys, about dreadful? Maybe it's synonym of uh, unhappiness? Unhappiness or happiness? Mm -hmm. Unhappiness. Mm, yeah, we can consider it. But um, it's more similar, guys, to horrendous. 
horrendous and dreadful, they are the same. Okay? Can you think about something that is horrendous? Tell me something that is horrendous for you. And the pollution. Very good. Pollution is horrendous. What else? Another one? Something else that is horrendous? Fast and Furious, the movie. <laughs> the last Fast and Furious movie is horrendous. Okay, very good. Now, can you think about something wonderful? What is something wonderful for you? When the day is cool, it's wonderful. Ah, very good. Cold weather, excellent. What else? What else is wonderful for you? The lunch time. <laughs> lunch time, I totally agree with that. Very good. They, yeah. they are. Day off, yes, yes. very wonderful. good. Salvador so, team for, soccer. For example, for example, <laughs> next yeah, week, next Friday, next Friday uh, uh -huh. will be a wonderful day. Why? What happens next it's, Friday? Next Friday is seven Friday. Is is holiday? Is it? Sure. No, no, yeah. No holiday. Yes, no holiday. Is uh, oh, day is day off. Day off. Day off. Day off. Day off. I right. mean, off. nationally. Nationally, yeah. right? Uh, really? Absolutely, teacher. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow, I didn't going have to idea. Have three days. <laughs> three three days. Oh, counting the weekend. Yes. Ah. This reason, I the, think the next I think, Friday will be a wonderful day. I think I, <laughs> I could give you extra homework, right? I because you will we, have three days off. I I guess we we decided that no that teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, come on. Uh, uh, okay, what were you saying, Nelson, I think? Long weekend. Long weekend? But I heard someone. Alguien más estaba diciendo algo, I'm sorry. Wilbur. Wilbur. Okay, Wilbur, tell us. Uh, I guess we are we are going, we are not going to study this Friday. Mm, I think that we are going to have three hours of classes because you will be free. <laughs> It's okay. terrible. <laughs> no. Yeah, why not? Horrendous. English, horrendous. <gasps> English class is horrendous. No. In day off, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, actually, I didn't have an idea, honestly. And I'm not sure, guys. I, I will talk to my supervisor to see if we are going to have day off or not. Okay? And... Uh, I will let you know, <laughs> no worries. Okay, now, is it clear the vocabulary for these adjectives? Yes? The meaning, is it clear for all of these ones? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay, now, what I need is that you try to use them. Okay, instead of saying, hi, this is good. No, let's start saying, awesome. Ah, oh, this is brilliant. This is wonderful. Instead of saying, how are you? I'm fine. No, let's stop saying I'm fine. And let's say, teacher, I'm terrific. Okay, instead of saying bad, Ay, this is a bad day. No, let's start saying, ay, this is a terrible day. Ay, dreadful, horrendous, okay? Because guys, again, we are not basic anymore. We need to sound more like intermediate level. Now, it's very common that we say very. How are you? Very happy. Ah, I am. Uh, how is the traffic? The traffic is very bad. So most of the time we use the word very. Yes or no? Yes. 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 
Now, instead of using very, there is another word that we can use. And the word is, look, absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. If you want to describe something, you can say, um, for example, hey, how was the movie? Wow, the movie was absolutely awesome. Ah, the movie was absolutely wonderful. So absolutely sounds better instead of saying very, okay? Imagine if I ask you, uh, hey everybody, how was your day? How would you answer that question? Let's try to use absolutely, and let's try to use the adjectives that are here. So, how was your day? Absolutely terrible. <laughs> okay, absolutely terrible. Mm, okay, and you guys, how was your absolutely. day? Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Very brilliant. good. What else? Absolutely tired. Okay. <laughs> Imagine if I ask you guys, how are you today? Oh, teacher, today I am absolutely tired. However, instead of using tired, there is another adjective that we can use. And is exhausted. Exhausted. Very good job. So, teacher, today I feel absolutely exhausted. So, let's see some other adjectives that we can use. For example, instead of saying tired, we can use exhausted. Instead of hungry, what else? What is the extreme adjective that we can use? What do you think? Instead of hungry. Starving. Ah, very good, starving. So guys, let's stop saying hungry. You can use starving. Hi teacher, I didn't have breakfast. I didn't have lunch. <laughs> So right now I am absolutely starving, okay? Now, dirty. Dirty is a very basic adjective. What is the adjective that we can use instead of dirty? What do you think? Any idea? No. Which one? Which one? Mm -hmm. Filthy or tiny? Tiny. Tiny? Filthy. Tiny, no. Okay. Filthy is um, like pierroso. Ah, okay. What is it? What is the meaning of dirty? Let's start with that. What is the meaning Sucio. of dirty? Sucio. Exactly. Is the opposite of clean, clean, right? So, which of these adjective means the same? Bowling. Maybe filthy. Mm. Filthy. Filthy, yes, actually that is the one. So instead of saying dirty, we can say filthy. Packed. Imagine if I want to say, ay, las calles estaban bien sucias. How can I say that? In a basic level, we say, ay, the streets was where because it's in plural oh yes yes sorry look in a very basic mm -hmm. way we say ah we're very dirty, dirty. yes dirty. but that yeah. is basic 
and because we are not basic anymore, what can we say? I, the streets were what filthy. Do you think? Absolutely. That is filthy. the one. Absolutely filthy. Filthy. Okay? That's the idea. Remember, we can change very for absolutely. Yes? Tell me. If it's necessary, uh, absolutely. Well, basically, guys, absolutely is just to make an emphasis. The reason, because here, ¿por qué usamos very? Para decir very dirty. To make, an so emphasis. make emphasis. Yeah. Para aclarar que no estaban solo sucias, estaban muy sucias. So, esa es la misma función de absolutely. Absolutely works the same as very. It's just to emphasize. I can say, ah, the food was delicious. Or the food was absolutely delicious. It's just to make an emphasis. Okay? Any questions about no. absolutely? No, it's okay. All it's right. Me. Yes? Absolutely. Get together. Tired, hungry, thirsty. It's okay. Oh, what happens, guys? Listen. Um, okay, I'm going to erase this. This column, oh, we don't have more time, so very quickly. This column is for basic verbs. Los basic verbs normalmente van con very. Okay? No es tan común decir uh, absolutely hungry. Mm -mm. Usamos absolutely con los extreme adjectives. Okay? Con los basic adjectives usemos very. Pero con los adjetivos que son un poquito más para intermediate, con ellos vamos a usar absolutely. All right? Yes? Okay. Good. On Monday, we are going to continue checking this vocabulary, guys. So don't worry about it. Unfortunately, today we don't have more time. And listen, it's Friday, so I know that you are tired. I know that you want to go to sleep. Hoy no voy a pedirle a nadie que se quede. Okay, so you can go to sleep early and relax. Um, just remember, guys, I just need you to continue working on the platform. Okay? Pretty Thank good. Okay, guys. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.